For the next 24 hours, I will be in a simulation. But not just any simulation, because I went on Steam and found the best simulators on the internet, so I could truly understand what it's like to live these different lives. Now I must warn you, because each one gets increasingly more immersive, and so by the very end, you're gonna feel like you're actually dropped in that simulator. It's pretty crazy. So to anybody who tries to contact me today, just know I'm alive, I will just be living in a simulation. So buckle up, because the countdown begins with one of the most riveting simulations out there. Tree Simulator which literally there's no controls to this game. It's just sunrise to sunset, you are just a tree. In fact, if you look in the bottom right, it says escape is the only button you could click to stop being a tree. And if I were to click that, it just takes you back to the Steam menu. So if you ever wanted a true POV of what a tree's life is like, this is your game. And I think I spent a couple of dollars on this, which I'm sorry to my accountant. I mean, take it in, it doesn't get much better than this. Sun, it's top of the day, so we're probably looking at like 11 o'clock right now. There we go, midday, slight breeze. A tree is but a tree. Every season, every place on earth. All right, so I'm gonna click the one key that is enabled, escape, and it brings me back right here. All right, so the next thing that I personally wanna simulate is going to the movies, because there's a ton of good movies out right now, and I feel like I'm shacked up right now because I'm making this video, and so I'd love to go to the cinema, so that's what we're gonna do. So here's my avatar, I'm gonna try and make him look like me, so I'm a man with Maybe this head shape. The hair's somewhat on point. My, I think my hair's a little bit longer. We got the Kim Jong-un haircut right here. I think I'll go with that. Okay, I'll throw in a hat. How about that? I'll put on a hat. Uh, I don't want a friend with me. I like going solo to the movies like a psychopath. Uh, okay, obviously I'm 6'4", so we're gonna make him probably right there. I don't consider myself super fat. I have some weight on me, but there we go, muscles. I feel like I have a decent frame, athletic build. Uh, right there. That looks like me, right? Maybe a little bit taller. 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, All right, so we're gonna run this in pure mode, whatever that means. All right, here we go. Uh, so my first objective is to buy a ticket. All right, pretty standard. I've been here before, so I'll talk with you. I feel like you're fun to interact with. This week's movie, so I guess this is the movie. I think I want to go to the earliest showing, which I think is 6 o'clock. 94? Is that how many tickets are available, or how many people are seeing this showing? Oh my gosh, it's busy here. Okay, well, this seat seems like a no-brainer. I don't know why this is open. 23 yuan, because this is a Chinese game, so... I'll pay it. Don't know what that translates to. 58 sec- what the heck? All of a sudden, the movie started- I didn't even get my popcorn. Who are these people? All right, let's head- oh, everyone's going to the theater. That's fun. 16 seconds. Oh my gosh. Beautiful painting. Play some GeoGuessr. I would say that is... No time. No time to GeoGuess. Here we go. I don't know what movie they're going to play, too. I just put in, like, a random destination, like, for a file. Oh, it's me! Let me get in my seat. Let me get in my seat. Let me get in my seat. I guess I just linked one of my recordings. It's, like, right before I'm about to record. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Didn't expect all these people to show up to watch me record. This is great. I just have to... I'm going to get up and use the bathroom real quick. AKA, I'm going to start screaming at people for not being in their seats. We have Brad Pitt on screen, and you guys aren't even acknowledging this. Look at this greatness on screen. He's spitting apps. I don't know what he's saying, but he's spitting absolute facts. I kind of want like a front row seat of me. This is extremely meta. All right, and I think that's it. Oh, look at those scissors right there. You guys really get like a full view of everything. Oh, so now you're done. Okay, I get it. All right, so the movie's over. You don't even wait for the end credits so you can see my name. You guys are truly some haters. All right, I mean, I'm satisfied, that was a pretty fun movie go. On to the next. All right, so now we're playing a game called Thief Simulator, something that I don't condone. I think people who are thieves are some of the worst people on earth, the scum you may say. All right, so there I am, there's Sam. why they make me bald? Feels like a target. All right, Vinny, let's see what Vinny's got for us. Hey, it's me, Vinny, pick up that crowbar and listen up. All right, let's pick it up. Crowbar has been achieved, now what do I do? Lombardi's paid your bail. They're generous, but they're all about reciprocity. Okay, knock over that house for me. All right, geez, that's like a pretty tall task. All right, so story mode, they have me break the fence. Break the planks. Bam, bam. I feel like that's not the best technique if you're a thief, because now everybody hears you. So now I have to sneak by the window. All right, so I have to sneak past this woman. Hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. All right, easy enough. Avoid the light. Okay, so I'll go around here. There's the neighbors. Hopefully they don't see me. And I now have a flashlight, that's pretty cool. Break the window with a crowbar, geez, okay. No longer crouch, pew, pew. And I'm gonna enter. Here I come. Now what? Toggle the flashlight, sure thing. 
Now we can see it. What do you have to say, Vinny? Let's hear it. Good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. All right. So let's do it. I'm going to take a teapot. Open up all these doors. Oh, that looks useful. A pot. Let's go into here. Oh. St oh, money. $15. That's quite a lot. A toaster. Not sure how you're keeping that, but... Time to bail. Get in your car. All right, I got this. So I'm going to go through a window. There we go. And I have to go to the car. Open that door. Uh, oh, I'm just not good at entering doors. Wow, I think I'm one of the worst thieves ever. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Start the engine. Jeez, now I'm playing GTA. Okay. Drive out of the location. Okay, I'm going. I think I have to drive, like, not suspiciously. The whole point should be, like, make these people not believe that I'm a thief. Oh, okay. I almost ran you over. That's fun. All right. Let's see my camera angle. Okay. I feel a little more comfortable like this. Now I'm literally playing GTA. All right. No such thing as a stolen vehicle. Good. Just a repossessed one, right? Am I right? The repo kings? Hey! Successfully completed a heist. You know, it feels pretty good. I like that. An A thief rating? Oh my gosh. I think I'm uh, ready for the big leagues. New hints available. Where am I living? What is this room that I live in right now? Good job. Get some sleep. Okay. I don't know if I want to like completely just become a thief. So I think I'm going to get some rest and I'm going to call it there. All right, next game. So when I came across this game, it felt very um, personal. It felt like this is something that everybody of a certain name can relate to, and that name is Kyle. So this is called Kyle Simulator. So this is, a we're a Kyle. Like, you know, there's Karens, there's whatever else, Muhammad's. Right now we're a Kyle. So there's all the associated stereotypes, like I guess these monster cans. A true Kyle breaks walls though. Let's see if I can just like break. Oh, oh, he could actually break walls. Wait, can he? Oh, maybe just that glass. I want to see if he can, like, punch walls. Oh, my God. He's a true Kyle. In true Kyle fashion, our guy is able to uh, prove to the world that he was born a Kyle. Look at this open world game. Oh, is that a car in the distance? Oh, would you look at that? Kyle, of course, does not have great cardio because he drinks a ton of energy drinks and he drives leased cars. He doesn't spend time going to the gym. Doesn't spend time doing th anything well for himself. I apologize if your name is Kyle. I mean, it's just unfortunate, right? Let's take a look at what we got. What are we playing with? What is Kyle packing with? Not like that. Um, ooh, don't know what this is. Oh, here's a BMW. Okay, probably like a three series or something. Let's get into the car. Okay, I got in the car. All right. Now here we are. We're going to drive our three series probably least we're probably in a ton of debt oh it's not good and now we driving so where if you were a kyle where would you go probably taco bell when i think of kyle's i think of energy drinks punching walls taco bells leased cars all these things how about we do this let's just run into this car and we're gonna just completely die oh but nope kyle continues onwards <laughs> oh, all right so this game is not as open as i thought for whatever reason, I figured we'd be able to get out of there, but I don't think that's the case. All right, we're spinning out. Uh, I think that's enough of Kyle for the day, unless we want to just... How about we just get rid of Kyle real quick? We'll dispose of him before we end this. Let's just take him off this. All right, he somehow survived. He's an absolute G. That's what Life of a Kyle looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so this game is called Super Hiking Simulator because it's a beautiful day outside, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, in fact, and I'd love to be outside hiking, walking, doing something, so I figured the next best thing is doing a simulation. Why are we on a plane? I was tired from work, so you took a long vacation, didn't know, okay, all right, I don't need to hear a whole life story. All I'm trying to do is hike, like a sensible person. Downloading the hiking, what? DLC package of this super hiking simulator did I purchase? Oh, okay. They gave an immediate upskirt of this lady right here. The torch, I didn't, I should have probably read something that she said. I should probably stay on trail. One time I was hiking, I was in a Yellowstone National Park in Montana. We went off track and then there was like bears. And so we like immediately went back on track because we obviously didn't want to get eaten by a bear. 
This seems extremely unsafe to have a torch like in the middle of a forest with nobody around. Do I have any action moves? Oh my god, she has a rifle. What does she have that for? Aren't we hiking? What is this game? First of all, who's my avatar? Why are you wearing a skirt? You're gonna get ticks, especially in this weather. And why do you have a gun on you? This is not what I expected when I went on a nice plane to go hiking. All right. So the path goes left. I can see a door across the... What the... What am I getting myself into? All I wanted to do was go hiking. Now I'm doing these like GTA side quests. Wow, this is steep. Oh my gosh, her legs are kicking back. She's doing like a uh, butt kicks, which is like a great hamstring stretch. All right, so let's see. No trespassing beyond this point. Danger of shooting. Okay, good spelling. High voltage. Keep off. All right, I'm going on. Another warning sign, but we don't care at all, all right? Right? Because this is super hiking simulator. All right, I don't like. Let's see what happens here. So now I'm inside of like a temple. All right, I don't know what the right path is. I guess it's gonna be straight. But that doesn't feel like the right thing. It just really doesn't. Okay, am I able to shoot this gun? Let's... Oh, I could shoot this gun, okay. So we, I have four bullets now. Can I just keep... Oh my gosh, all right, you gotta practice firearm safety here. This is literally temple run, but just like on a decline. And there's like... No barriers or anything. If there was obstacles in my way, then I'm playing Temple Run. I don't know, like... Maybe the at the end of the day, what I'm doing is just hiking. I'm just getting in, like, a ton of steps. Because imagine when I have to go back up. This girl's doing, like, Eiffel Tower level Stairmaster. Forget that Burj Khalifa level. Look how many stairs there are. All right, I am uh, going to wrap it up on Hiking Simulator because this seems to be a dead end. And I'm no longer simulating anything. And I feel like now I'm just playing uh, a game that has gotten out of hand pretty quickly. What is this spider web too? Yeah, I'm done with this. Fun game though. All right guys, so now we're playing American Truck Simulator because I wanna simulate what it's like on the road when I get a good truck and I'm transporting everything. So let's go ahead and drive. I don't have a truck, okay. Would you like to take a quick job? I guess I have to take a job in order to rent a truck. Let's go LA to Yuma, Arizona. This job could pay me $4,400, let's take it. So I guess I rent that car. All right, oh, well, this is true perspective here, okay. How do I change the camera angle? I feel like this is not the preferred angle. You know what it is, I want the true POV. I just know I have like a massive load. Oh, oh yeah, we are definitely in LA. All the homeless people on the side of the road, all the taco trucks. I think I ran over something, but hey, it's not on my bill, am I right? All right, I gotta make a, uh... oh, excuse me, sir. Sorry about that. $340 for crashing into a vehicle? How about these cars look where they're going? You, you're gonna say this is my fault? These cars need to watch where they're going. I'm just out here trying to make an honest living, just driving on the road, doing my thing, trying to do a little delivery. I don't know how I developed like a Midwest accent. I'm literally West Coast. Should be talking pretty normally. All right, so we're on the 10 eastbound, going to Phoenix. I got a car right now next to me. Truck, I should say. He feels a little intimidated by me, so I'm getting a little faster. I'm gonna creep up on him. If I could creep up on this truck, I'm gonna rail him into the side rails. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. I think that hurt me more than it hurt him. Oh, I could do a different, here we go. Yeah, he's all done. All right, let's get like this normal GTA view. See if there's anything else to do. I, I Listen, man, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that to you. That's not the type of person or driver that I am. We can't have that. I'm gonna crash into him once more before we end this. Because honestly, I don't like his attitude. I think this guy, how about I just block the entire freeway? What about I do that? How about I just be the cause of traffic? Hey, you get out of my way. All right. So, yep, I'm coming for you. I kind of apologize, guys. I know you guys are just trying to do your job. You guys are trying to get home to your families, and I'm just out here just being a jerk. Just for the sake of what? Like, my own entertainment? Are you guys just, like, clowns to me? Because if so, then that's a really bad perspective. So I apologize for that. And I'm no longer going to play this game. Now that we've gotten the perspective of a trucker, now we're going to get the perspective of an environmentalist who's cleaning up the environment, which is kind of sweet, right? We're just pure humanitarians in every sense of the way. Here you can learn the basics of the game. I don't want to learn the basics of the game. All right, suck up water. What, is this actually like an issue in the environment? 
All right, cool. I have to spray water to... Oh, look at that. I'm like, uh, it's like Luigi's Mansion, you know? Like where I'm sucking up the ghosts, break them down, suck them up. Not like that. Interact with things, sure. Don't know what this does, but... What is that? Like, why is there a machine just plop in the middle of this? Repair the bridge? This is very linear. I like it. Uh, hole to water objects. What do we water? Trees, this, maybe this, maybe you. Oh, you kind of move when I plant you. Does it do anything? Oh, look at that. Let's see how big you can get. Maybe you're meant to be a bush. All you need is a little bit of love and some water. Hey, look, you're so much happier. You're glowing. Oh, I get coins too. It's like Mario. What about you, big fella? Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you like getting wet, huh? Oh yeah. Yep, oh, look at you. Yeah, big boy, there we go. You're getting absolutely soaked. All right, cool. Press N to restore, okay. Now what do I do? Interact with passages. Congratulations, nature is restored. Look at that. Restoring nature one suck at a time. All right, I guess I can go to here, the rail station. You know, maybe after this, I just become a full-time environmentalist. Dear friends, we've been hit by a real catastrophe. Okay, I'm not reading that now. Oh my gosh. Why do I have homework? I thought I was just like contributing, cleaning up stuff. Holy, what is that? First of all, what is that? That's like a golden fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, this cat's dreaming of his home. So the home needs wood. All right, I think I'm gonna build your house and then bounce. And it's not against anybody. You know, I'm sure, I mean, you guys do great work. You know you do. You, everybody who works for this environmental team, you guys are awesome. It's just, this is not really my, my cup of tea. All I'm looking for is to help out this poor little cat who's been locked out of their home. I, I need a piece of wood. Uh, maybe I have to like uncover it. Gotta be somewhere here, right? That'd make sense, uncover some wood. There's so much debris here, Jesus. Oh, what's this, wood? No, it's a goldfish. We don't need a goldfish. I need a wood because I need to get that cat in its home. Come on, baby. Give me wood. Why is like everything I say right now like borderline sus? How about I do one final look over here? And then if I can... Oh, and no, it's TNT. All right, you're out of luck, cat. See you on the streets. I'm done cleaning up this place. Why would they ever ask me level one to do six different tasks? Like, I'm going to do that. Peace out. All right, the next thing that we're going to simulate is being a rat, because I feel like being a rat gets a bad rap. Pretty fire bar right there. So let's see it from the perspective of one of these little guys, and we'll go on easy mode, because I don't want to know what it's like to be a rat on hard mode, which is probably just New York City. They got a good life. All right, so here we are, POV of a rat. Wow, he's fast. Can he jump too? Yeah, he could. Look at him. All right, pick up E. Okay, pick up E. All right. What do I need to do? Oh, F is to eat food. All right, so my objectives are to destroy objects. Can I destroy this vase? Okay, how do I destroy this vase? Gotta drop it from somewhere. I mean, this is a pretty strong vase. Oh, I could throw it. Hold on, wait a second. Genius. Throw it. Ha ha. Now you just gotta hop up here. Now let's pick this up. Throw it. Dope. All right, so now I can enter the dining room. This is kind of scary. Here comes a human. Oh my gosh. Press one to attack the human. Where's he gonna come? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's Jack too. Not for long. Not enough poison. All right. What, can I eat this? How do I eat my apple? Ah, oh, pest man alert. Oh no. Remy, what'd you do? Eat, 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 eat. Eat, eat, eat. Pest man alert. What does that even mean? Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to live my life. Oh my gosh. Okay, get under the bed. Get under the bed. Get under the bed. I'm literally getting chills from this. Stay under. You're good. You're good. You're good. They can't see you here. Everything's fine. Just eat your food. Everything's okay. They can't see you here. You're under a bed, apparently, even though you're... Oh my gosh. He's, he's right here. Okay, they don't detect me anymore. Woo! That was close. Jeez. Okay. Oh, you're done, dude. You know what? Pew, 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 pew. Not enough poison. I just need to break one object. Can I grab this? I just need to break one object. No, <gasps> oh, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here, boys. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna hide behind this vase or behind this outlet. Oh, <gasps> he can't see me. I don't think he could see me. 
Oh, he could see me. No, no. Oh, Remy. Remy. Get out of here. Please, Remy. Oh, my gosh. Why is that sad? It was kind of like a sad ending. I don't like being a rat. But what I do like is being a duck. So we're literally going to simulate being a plastic duck. You know, one of those ducks that just like sits around in a pool. Hopefully this is 1% as fun as Tree Simulator. All right, so right off the bat, I'm able to look around. Can I move? Okay, so in rubber ducky fashion, I can't move. I can just sort of enjoy the views around me. There's my Mr. Flamingo friend. Let's head for the slide. I don't know if I'm doing this or this is just the current, but I, I like to think that I'm having some sort of effect on things. It was just like a Airbnb simulator, just like a really nice Airbnb. Doesn't let me go anywhere else. I wish I could direct him where to go. He's just, he, he doesn't, he just goes with the flow. He's just a duck. All right, I mean, that was as fun as a duck simulator for $4 could have been. Waste of $4, so subscribe. Maybe you could help me recoup some of my lost funds from playing some of these terrible games. But nonetheless, it was a good time, right? All right, so this game is called Granny Simulator because I want to see what it's like to be a grandparent because I'm actually about to be a grandparent. Uh, we'll go first level. Ooh, did you guys... Was that what I thought it was? Oh my gosh, look at my task. Kill your grandmother. Oh, so I play as the kid. Jeez, what is going on here? Okay. This was not what I expected. Can I interact with anything? Okay. I have a closet. Oh, trap door. Oh my gosh. So these all have locks in them. What is this door? Oh, look at that. He's got a little like... Oh, oh, and these are the keys I have to collect. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, got... Wow, he could jump really high. This kid is an athlete. All right, anyways, let's get to uh, key finding, right? Where's grandma? We got a bone to pick, grandma. I don't know what you did to me, but you're about to get it. Not like that, but you're about to get, oh. Okay, I don't know what's in here. It's a ladle. Uh, I have the ladle. Come out, come out wherever you are. Where'd you go? Oh, there's your pills. And knock them over. You don't need those. You're better than that. Oh no! There she is. Run. Run. Okay. She doesn't suspect me. Never suspected me. I'm her perfect child. There she is. Until. There she is. She just killed me. Okay. It's on now, Grandma. It's on, Grandma. Oh. Pfft. What the. What is going on here? What is this rivalry? And why does he dab every time he jumps? I'm gonna give him that Kame Kameha. Okay, well, she keeps killing me. I don't want to be near her anymore. She's abusive. I don't like that. Let's throw, drop the ladle so we can gain some speed. Dab jump onto the couch. And do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's go into our secret area. I have four keys, so I should be able to open up four of these. Ooh, like what is this? This is like a wrench. All right, we're gonna hit her with a wrench, because I do not condone this. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, I hit her. I hit her. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Come on. Come on. You're good. You're good. You have to snag it. Come on. Get on top of here. Good. I have a bottle in my hand. You'll never hurt me again, Grandma. I'm tired of everything you've ever done to me. And I'm going to take back what's mine, which is... Bye, Grandma. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm good on this game. This is pretty fun, though. Alright, so next up, you guys thought that... We couldn't get any more immersive. Well, you were wrong, because now we're playing a game that is... Cowboy Simulator, so... Yes, that's right, we are literally cowboys. And we have, like, Red Dead Redemption dialogue and stuff. I don't want to quest. All I want to do... Hey, okay, okay. All I want to do is just... Uh, walk... Oh, I could buy a merchant. That seems like... Okay. I have a gun. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, can I... I need, like, a weapon. Can somebody hand me a weapon? Not because I'm scared. Oh, I do have a gun. Okay, that is nice. All right, there's my gun. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Let's have a good old-fashioned standoff. I'm robbing you right now. I'm robbing you. Give me everything you got. 
That's how cowboys interact, right? I, I feel very happy that I have a gun, because I feel like if I didn't have this weapon, then the bandits would probably mow me down immediately. That's no problem. Uh, life as a cowboy can get pretty rough. You have discovered a fast travel point. Look at me, already a pioneer. Oh, there they are. Old banditos. Oh, oh, I love how he does that. That's like the classic. All right, you guys are done. Good old fashioned shootout, huh? How do I shoot? You're telling me you're not... How do I shoot? Oh my gosh. You know how embarrassing it is to have a gun and then not know how to shoot it? Okay, that's how I shoot it. Sorry, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Cops and robbers. All right, there you are. Sorry, you just have to... There we go. Cool. One out of 12? Do not tell me that means there's 12 bandits. I'm gonna go far, far away. Uh... How did I die? I thought I was killing it. I murdered those bandits. Maybe I was bleeding out, but I don't think that's a fair angle to put at me. I don't even respawn. They just have me, you died. New game, back to main menu, or quit to your desktop. I paid $20 for this game. All right, so this game is literally called Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, which is a pretty gnarly name, honestly. Uh, and so what we could do here is we could essentially pick two theoretical things to face off against each other. So let's do a round of this, because apparently this is as real of a simulation as you can get. So, I don't know. Let's say we want to go some... What's evil? Okay, so if we wanted to see zombies versus uh, action man. So this is a hero, so he's probably like Superman. So let's do like a, a hundred action man, or we could do like a hundred thousand zombies. All right, so we could influence the weather. Let's go sunny with clouds, and they're fighting at 4 p.m. And let's put them in a modern, no, not a modern city. I feel like that's not good. Let's put them in a, an Egyptian city. Right next to the pyramids, they will be fighting. Yeah, that feels fair. All right, so here we go. Let's start this battle. I'm going to make a wager. I think that the superheroes are going to win, but if you think that the 100,000 zombies will win, if you guys are right, I will give one person who's a subscriber something special. Mark my words. Very special, in fact. I'll reach out to a random person who subscribed, and I will give you your, your prize. All right, everybody. The day has finally come upon us. We are in ancient Egypt. Somewhere is going to be the pyramids. But over here on this side, we have 100,000. Oh, my gosh. Uh, zombies. And then somewhere else, we have, like, I think it's 100. Um, whatever they called it, Action Man. So let's start this battle. Oh, there's the pyramids. I don't know what to expect. So, like, where are the action men? Is there all... Oh, okay, so they're going over here. I'm just trying to, like, track their movement. Oh, they're going over here. Oh, wait, there's already combat happening? Wait, how are they... Oh, my gosh! Jeez! Look at these guys. Oh, it's a bunch of John Wicks. Oh, it's like an action hero. I see. Wow, this is a lot of John Wicks. They're just mowing them. This isn't even a contest. I thought they were going to be like Superman. I guess it is kind of like Superman. It's just unlimited amounts of John Wicks. Okay, so I guess the big question is like, are they able to get somewhat close? Because if they can get somewhat close, then this could be like, you know, they could just maul them just by numbers. Because they're closing in a little bit, although they're also rapidly, rapidly shrinking. The shrinkage rate is actually pretty incredible here. There are still a hundred John Wicks. Oh, this is over. This was over before it started. Look at this pile of zombies. There's still so many, though. Oh, my gosh. All it takes is for them to break the formation and get somewhat close. And they're literally not even getting anywhere close. I think they're actually getting further and further away. All right, well, we already know the outcome of this, unless something magical happens, unless there's, like, a super zombie. They send out the LeBron James of zombies to just, like, absolutely bullet... Okay, this is done. There's nothing to be done. This one singular John Wick. All right, and now there are only 2,000 zombies left. Look at this pile of just zombies. Fictional zombies, and this is for educational purposes only, I may add. All right, we're at... Towards the bottom of the heave, there's only a couple left. Here comes the last remaining ones. 20 left, 19, 18. 
Oh, this is not looking too good. They're even running up to them now. These people have no fear whatsoever. Where are the remaining zombies? All the wicks are confused. They're like, where do we go with this? Oh, he got stuck. Okay, listen, man. I don't know if you heard what happened to your friends, but it's not good. Let's just say you're probably going to be the last one remaining. And I'm just telling you right now, it's in your best interest to just kind of squat down. Don't let them see you because there's four of your friends left. Three, because you're the fourth. And they're coming for you. And when they do, don't be surprised. Yep, and there's now officially one remaining, and that is you. And there's that sea of John Wicks. Okay, and what did I tell you, man? I'm sorry about that, but listen, it is what it is. All right, well, I guess I won. I promise I did not expect that to happen. I didn't know that John Wick was going to be busted out. All right, so next up, we have Surgeon Simulator, which is, I mean, exactly what it sounds like. So we will be acting as the surgeon today. So let's uh, let's operate. Operations. And we are working on Bob, and we're doing heart transplant surgery. So they're starting us off nice and easy. I perform a heart transplant, easy enough. All right, let's take this off of you, sir. I understand, okay, there's, you're completely exposed now. Um, That's how that moves, okay. How do I flip it over? Okay, so that's how I rotate. Okay, so here we go. Up, down, I don't know how to grab. How do I grab? Really, I should be able to grab anything like this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hammer you. Bam. All right, maybe I should, okay, that's the wrong tool. I think we need to grab this. We're gonna saw you. There we go, oop, okay. Okay. Uh, bring that back. Oh, not. Oh, I did not mean to. Sorry. I <laughs> sorry, sir. Apologize for that. Let me just uh, I can fix this for you. I'm a professional. You have to remember that, sir. I'm. A, I am a. Uh, th they call me the professional because I am so unbelievably professional that everybody who works with me. See, I'm giving you a nice massage during your. When have you ever gotten a surgery while you're under? Or sorry, when have you gotten a massage when you're under anesthesia? Never is the answer. A little bit of uh, button clicks here. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so next up, we were going to take the scalpel. And with this, I am going to, um, I'm going to perform something that is necessary, which is, you know, you got to dig into, you got to break the, uh, the ribs in order to reach the heart. Everybody knows that. Let's do a little more digging. It says your blood level's fine, right? Everything's good here. Like this could, might as well be your heart, right? Oh, look, made you look. See, just kidding. Okay, all right, all right. Let's, okay, let's take it easy now. Let's take it easy now. You know, hey, slapping him around. What's up, buddy? Wake up, wake, wake up, you're good. Oh, there's the heart. I found your heart, I found your heart. Okay. So now I have your heart, and now I'm gonna transplant it into your body. Okay, I think I did it. I think that's a successful surgery. All right, so what better way to fully immerse yourself in a simulation of life than playing the actual game of life? So I don't know how this works. I guess I'll try to play online, see if I could find anybody to play with me. My guess is no, because we're playing a game that's randomly on Steam. Okay, I don't think anybody wants to play with me, so I think I'm gonna do pass and play. I don't know what that means. Oh, I've already played a game of this before, probably a long time ago when I used to stream, which I'd no longer do, but honestly, the longer these videos get, the more open I am to streaming, because it's like, I might as well stream this. Okay, I don't care if I overwrite my previous stuff. Let's do fast mode. Green, blue, and I want to play an AI. So, two people. Perfect. All right, and here's the board. Well, we have the Golden Gate Bridge. We got Manhattan. We got the Wii Sports Resort. We got a ski town. Oh, that's cool. Look, we have a bunch of people cheering us on, too. Oh, and this is very nice. Good community feel. High spinner goes first. You know what they say. Green always wins. Green's a 10. Green's a 10, baby. All right, I didn't want to go first. Going first is kind of lame. You know, I want to be the home team. Get to the wedding chapel. All right, so that's the goal. So the victory condition is whoever marries first. Fine. You choose to go to college. Guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to go to college. I think I'm just going to take the career path because I don't want to incur all this debt plus interest on your debt. So now who's the smart one? 
You can go wherever you want. Doesn't matter to me. Good. Open up your cards. Pick an opponent. Who cares? Your team must get... Oh, he's facing off with me? Okay. Well, I'm already involved in a minigame. Wait, why does red get to spin again? That's... Oh my gosh, I got a 9 too. And he got a 10, so he just takes money from me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go career. Because I'm a financially smart person. So I could be a farmer or a mechanic. I'm gonna be a farmer. You know what? Farmers making $80,000 a year. It's good money, man. That's good. That's almost double of what the median income is. I think the median's like 45k. Alright, here we go. Just a good old farmer. Collecting. Look at this. Collecting 80k just like that. Collect 50k from the... I built a maze. They're giving me $50,000. You went to school. Now you're in debt. What about me? I'm a farmer and I have $330,000 to my name one year out of school. And I'm going to get married before you. Mark my words. Because I'm a more successful life person than you, Red. Don't know if that's your name. But I'm going to call you Red. Give everyone a compliment and spin. Ha! You have to give me a compliment. You have to give me a compliment. All right, so you got a six. So you get $100,000 for giving out a compliment? I'd love to have that gig. Ugh. Give me something good. Pick an opponent, okay. Bank pays highest spinner 10K times the spin. So I could win $100,000 if I have a fat meaty spin here. Okay, $80,000 if I win. Take it to the bank, baby. $410,000. Oh, was that? F okay, 410. All right, Red, low numbers. Okay, so you're going to be stopped here. Let's see what this is. Hopefully this isn't the chapel. Oh, you graduated. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Really happy for you. Okay, you're a rocket scientist making 100 k I feel like it's not a lot for a rocket scientist. You should be making like 200. Like you chose the wrong path. Why is he getting the highest possible rolls? Now he's passing me. My whole thing was like skip college so I can get married, yada yada. And now he's ahead of me. Your pet goat wins a ribbon. He makes $120,000. Now he's richer than me and he's further in life than me. This is, this is pretty upsetting. Oh! Fat 10, let's go, let's go. Get me to the chapel, get me to the chapel. Collect my, what do I get, 80K? 490, now we're tied. Again, 80K, 570, bring me to the chapel. Oh! <gasps> Take that! I got married before you and I'm richer than you and I have no debt. All right, well, hopefully this next game is as immersive as this victory was. Alright guys, the reason I wanted to put this one second to last, because I think being a mother is something that 50% of the world will likely do at some point, unless you're infertile and or don't want kids, which I guess is also a fair point and a lot of people don't want. However, a lot of people are mothers, and so if you are a mother watching this or you want to be a mother, this is going to be a very useful game. And also if you're a dad or if you're a guy and you're like 15 years old, you're like, let's see what this is all about. How difficult could this be? Here's the simulator for it. Alright, so the first challenge is to meet the baby. So, let's see, the baby, this is our baby, uh, and the baby wants a binky, so our job as parents is to run around looking for the binky because we have to take care of our babies. There it is. Grab that. Here you go, baby. Equip. Minus 10. Why are you spitting it out? What is this? Okay, I have to wash it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, now I definitely have to wash it. Pick it up, pick it up. Good. Picked it up. Now I gotta wash it. How do I wash it? Uh, water on. Okay. Now it's washed. Take it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Congratulations. Nice. All right, so this next one is called Gift from the Baby, and we have to change a diaper. So let's read this first, right? Diaper, if it's yellow, time to change it. First, remove the dirty diaper, throw it in the wastebasket. Okay, so there's our baby. Pick you up. Ooh, you do not look very cute. Sorry about that. Drop you, remove it, wastebasket. Is that the wastebasket? Okay, put it in. Put it in. Drop the stinker. No, not on the ground. Okay, that's now. Oh, don't pick it up again. Okay, all right. We're just gonna leave it on the ground. Let's do this. Uh, put it on. Okay, I, I'm sure I have to do something else. To, okay, uh, what's this? Is that baby powder? Is that like some talcum? It is baby powder. All right. Really should be wipes as well. All right, baby. All right, baby. Drop that. Where's your clean diapers? They're in here, right? Okay, let's get you a clean diaper. Okay, 
Equip that. Seven seconds. Get it on. There we go. Whew. With time to spare as well. Nice. This next one is called Dinner Served. So I have to uh, fix some formula for my baby. Our baby's hungry, and we are the mothers, so it's up to us to feed our baby. All right. Baby wants bottle. Where's the bottle? Bottle, bottle, bottle. Probably in the kitchen. No, no. Okay, there's the bottle. Needs to be cleaned. We know how to do this. Turn that on. Good. Pick the bottle up. Now we gotta wash it out. Good. Uh, can we put it here? What does this do? Anything? Okay. I don't know if we're... Does it, is this filling it up? I can't tell. I feel like we're doing something right, are we? Okay, let's drop this here. Oh, talcum powder. Okay. We need to place it. We have to be... Let's place it nicely. You know what? I think we did it. I think we did it. Good. Baby, you want this, right? Take it. Take it, baby. Oh, what? Did you just... Okay, now I'm taking you, and know what I'm going to do? I'm going to place you on this bed. Oh, I did not mean that. I, I promise I did not mean that. Okay, good. I did mean that, but not like that hard. I didn't mean to actually... Okay, let's put you over here. All right, you stay there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a bedtime story. Or not. Sorry, I lied to you. Let's take it. How about I put you in the kitchen? Oh, I do... Okay, that's... Uh, all right, this is definitely not a... Good to start. Oh, okay. Hold on. Just sit down nicely. No, no, no. Definitely don't want that. All I want from you is to just sit down quietly. Don't make that face. Why are you spazzing when I put you down? You don't do this on the table, do you? Okay. That's unfortunate. All right. I'm going to put you back in your crib because you're scaring me. Don't not act like that. All right. This is the only place you're safe, I guess. Wait, how? Okay. You know what? How about you stay there? Uh... <sighs> All right. I am uh, done being a parent. And with that, it's time to play the most immersive reality bending game you'll ever see in your entire life. This simulation changes all simulations. You truly feel like you're living in the POV of the thing that you're about to see. It's an incredible game. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I only had to pay $2.99 for it as well, so it's relatively cheap. Here we go. So this game is called Rock Simulator. And similar to Tree Simulator, we just sit here. There's no controls. But what's cool about this is that you could level up just by sitting here. So if I left the game on forever, I'd probably be a world record holder. You could also talk to the rock. So I could say, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content, click here, click here. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you next time. Peace.